Microsoft say that Copilot has been the fastest adopted product in the Microsoft 365 suite, but many organizations still find it difficult to get wide and sustained adoption. At Microsoft Ignite, the flagship tech conference, there were some significant updates that will impact adoption of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Here are my top six picks. First up, Copilot Actions. Create actions that Copilot can complete for you. Reference people, files, choose to send a message, and schedule some actions. Now, actions are a mix of Copilot prompts and the automation that might be powered by Power Automate. Why is this impactful to user adoption? When we create actions using templates, they provide a well-constructed prompt. The templates that they use follow a format that provides a prompt that can be customized by filling in the blanks. You can choose variables from a drop-down menu and enter them yourself. Now this helps people to learn what makes up a good prompt, shows them what the possibilities are for those variables, and builds confidence to create their own prompts. Copilot actions are currently in private preview, which usually means we won't be able to try it for months yet. There's no date that's been shared about the public preview. Second up, number two, save and share your prompts in the Copilot prompt library. The Copilot prompt library gets a place to save personal prompts, to reuse, and to share them. Microsoft's prompt templates have been a good start but they are kind of generic and not really worded in a way that's easily relatable to a person's own work. Now, when you write a great prompt, you can store it in personal prompts. Copilot power users in your organization are also the best source of prompts that relate to your work. Power users are familiar with your workplace objectives and information and people and places. They can save their prompts now to their personal library and share them to help others get started. This isn't yet an organizational shared prompt library, but it can't be too far behind. My third pick is SharePoint Copilot Agents. Organizations have a lot to do to prepare their whole environment for using Copilot, but now they can focus on sites and libraries that are Copilot ready as sources of information. SharePoint Copilot agents are now generally available. You can create a SharePoint agent for a site and know that Copilot's responses through that agent can be trusted. Or at least you can focus on getting a SharePoint site ready and easily maintain it as a good source for Copilot. SharePoint Copilot agents are available now for creation and used by people with the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. My fourth pick is Copilot Pages Updates. Copilot Pages are a place to send the responses from Copilot Business Chat to a page for editing and sharing. Think of them as a notepad to collect responses from a chat and start to edit the information and ideas. You can share them with other team members and edit them at the same time. Copilot pages are powered by Microsoft Loop, so you can share them in an email or as a chat as a Loop component. Or you could add them to a workspace. Copilot pages will now support prompts in the response with a suggested code. Send the code to a page and it becomes an editable, shareable code block. Or diagrams and charts from responses using Mermaid. Copilot pages were released in early 2024 and they're still rolling out at the time of Microsoft Ignite. Look for the Edit in Pages button while you're using Copilot Business Chat. It's supported while you're switched to working with Work as a source, but later it will be supported in Web Mode and for people who are using the free Microsoft Copilot. My fifth pick is Copilot Analytics. Organizations need a way to measure the usage of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Copilot Analytics provides a dashboard, business impact reports, and advanced insights. Visit the dashboard reports in Viva Insights. Now it's now a generally available and included in the Microsoft 365 Copilot licensing. And my sixth pick, the new Copilot-centric Microsoft 365 logo. Lastly, if it wasn't already obvious that Microsoft is all in with Copilot, the Microsoft 365 logo is changing to a new Copilot-centric logo. 
That is the Microsoft 365 Copilot logo with the M365 label over the top. While it shows that Microsoft sees Copilot as the UI for AI to get work done, it will also be confusing for people. Based on the reactions and comments that I've seen so far, many are still struggling to understand different Copilots and ways to reference them. Now that Microsoft 365 is M365 Copilot, will this negatively impact adoption? This remains to be seen. So that was my top picks for Copilot updates that will impact Copilot adoption. What are your picks? Share them in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, like it and subscribe for more, including training and adoption resources for use in your organization, my modern work workouts. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.